Hey guys, so I thought I was recording and I actually wasn't, so I talked for about 10 minutes and yeah. Um, I hope you guys can see me better. I am in a different location now. I do have my at light going and my overhead lights going and hopefully the light behind me, but I hope that light behind me doesn't isn't conflicting with any other lights. I'm going to go ahead and tell you my thoughts on Jenny Donald's new book, You Against Me. She is also the one that wrote Before I Die, which I still have sitting on my bookshelf, still needing to be read. I'm just going to read you the summary of this book and then get into a little bit about it and my thoughts on it. When 18-year-old Mikey's younger sister claims to have been raped and he seeks to avenge the crime, he meets Ellie, the sister of the accused, and befriends her, complicating the situation considerably for all of them. Uh, which is basically what this book is about. Now, Karen, who's Mikey's younger sister, is sexually assaulted, or we think is sexually assaulted, by Tom, who is Ellie's older brother. And so, of course, Mikey wants to go after Tom. And the day that Tom is supposed to be let out on bail, Mikey goes over to his house. And Mikey's younger sister, Ellie, opens the door, and that's the first time that they meet. Ellie has no idea who Mikey is. Mikey doesn't even know Tom that has a younger sister, so now that he knows that, um, thoughts start going through his mind. And Mikey is thinking he'll befriend Ellie so he can get some information about Tom and go after Tom that way. So, they're going to have a party, a welcome home party for Tom. Tom's not home yet, but they're having a party, you know, for his day being let out on bail. And it's later that night, and Ellie invites Mikey back. Because Mikey pretends like he's one of Tom's friends. So, Mikey does come back that night, and Tom doesn't recognize him. Tom doesn't know who he is. And Ellie and Mikey start to talk a little bit. And... As Mikey's talking to Ellie, he realizes that this girl's kind of cool. So you have Karen, who says she was assaulted, and then you have Tom, who says he didn't assault her, and you have that whole case going on. But that's all taken a back seat to what's actually going on with Mikey and Ellie. This is a very complicated story, I think, because you would think families should stick together, and they should. And I believe Mikey's intentions of getting to know Ellie so he can get to Tom. I get that. You know, I get anger can do things like that. Honestly, I don't think I'd have the patience for that. i just go after the guy. But that's what Mikey's planning on doing. That That's his way he's going to get to Tom. And Ellie still has no idea that Mikey is Karen's brother. Now, she owes Karen because they go to school together, but she has no idea that they're related. And as the story goes, Mikey and Ellie get to know each other more and more. And one day, Ellie accidentally discovers who Mikey really is. And so, Ellie decides she's going to plan a little bit something on her own. So, there's a little bit of drama that goes on there. Um, there's a lot of feelings in this book, a lot of emotion. Um, there's a lot of confusion, I think, uh, there's a lot of knowing what's right and what's wrong. You know, what should you do and what shouldn't you do in certain situations. And it's very hard, I mean, because you know your head's telling you, telling you what you should do. I mean, shoot, my sister was assaulted. I need to stand by her side. My brother is innocent. I need to stand by his side. Now, while this assault supposedly went on, it was only Tom, two of his friends, Kieran, and her friend Stacy at Tom's house. Ellie was there, but Ellie wasn't hanging out with them, but she was there. Nobody knows what she saw, what she heard, or anything like that, because she says she was sleeping the whole time. Um, she's got Tom's back. She can't believe that her brother would, would do anything like that. She doesn't even let it enter her mind. Um, so until further on down the road, Ellie has to decide now, well, I'm really starting to like Mikey, but i got to stand behind my brother. And she's going to testify. So, I mean, that's really hard. What do you do? So, yeah, Ellie, Ellie went through a lot. She went through a, a whole lot. Um, her family, her father was awful, um, especially when they found out that she was talking to Mikey. Um, Mikey, he put his neck out there, too. He walked off his job for, you know, just didn't show up a day to be with her. And, I mean, what they had was pretty intense emotionally-wise. 
Um, but they had to keep it secret because of the situation that was going on with their, you know, at home. So it's just, it's just a really, really difficult thing. And I try to think, God, what do you do? You know, your head's telling you one thing, your heart's telling you another. Now, truthfully, they shouldn't be together because they need to stay, stand by their families. Um, and maybe when the whole case is over, then they can get back together. That's what should happen, I believe. Family should always come first. Um, but they're also younger, so you have to take that into consideration. And when you are younger, it's all about your emotions. It's all about your feelings. It's all about your hormones. I mean, that's what it's all about. That leads you. That That's what your life is when you're younger like that. Um, in the end, you know, you're wondering what's going to happen. You know, are, are Mikey and Ellie going to do the right thing? Um, what are they going to do? Because, you know, towards the end, the parents already know about the two of them. And, um, excuse the dogs. Hold on one second. Shut up! Shut up! Because of the mailman. So are they con going to continue to see each other and go behind their parents' back? Or are they going to stand by their parents? So you have that. The other main thing that you have in the story is, was Karen actually assaulted? Um, that actually doesn't play, that's actually not the forefront of this book, believe it or not. Um, it's still there, because obviously that's what this whole thing's about, and that's why Ellie's and Mikey's relationship is so forbidden. But it doesn't take center stage. But you do start to see here pieces of what actually happened that night as the story progresses. And by the time you get to the end of the story, obviously you know what happened that night. And Ellie is put in another difficult position regarding that. Um, I don't want to give everything away, so, but it's just, it's a long book, but I don't think it was drawn out at all. Um, it, it was really written really well. The characters were great. Um, the only one that I didn't really... I had a little bit of a couple issues with Mikey because Mikey, I thought that he walked away from too many things to be with Ellie. Like when he walked, when he didn't show up for work the one day. And there was a time when he just wanted Ellie to walk away from school, I think it was, and just walk away. Oh, come on. And, you know, and I just... It was just very irresponsible. Um, I thought Mikey was very irresponsible at times. Um... I didn't care for that part of his character. But everything else I thought was good. Tom, the accused, um, I thought his reactions and the way he was written was very well done. Um, Karen being the one that was assaulted, what she went through and how Jenny Downham wrote her, I think was really believable also. The mother, I mean, all these characters are definitely definitely believable and I don't think there was any part of the story that could have been left out I think it all played a piece in this book and it all led up to the conclusion at the end so I definitely it's not a like I said I don't think it's a fast read it definitely doesn't have like a lot of drama even though it is a it is um a very heavy subject it's not drama at every turn if that makes any sense um yeah I hope I didn't give away too much and I hope you understood what I was trying to say I really wanted to just sit down in front of this camera and just say all my thoughts on it but I think I summarized a little more than I wanted to I definitely would recommend reading this book if you know you can get into longer books um, so yeah, I do. I, I definitely would recommend reading, reading it. So, all right. I will talk to you guys later.